Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models, and today we're unboxing one of Miniart's accessory sets, a several crates filled with Panzerfaust 30 and Panzerfaust 60s. This was an anti tank weapon used in large numbers and which, after the war, led to the development of the famous Soviet RPG. This is kit number 35253. And it's another clever set from MiniArt, developed for those who want to spice up their kits with different add-ons unavailable in the set they are building, but fitting it perfectly. It is part of World War II Military Miniatures series, a line that MiniArt produces and that is being famous with great prices and superb contents. There are weapon sets of different kinds already available, but this, I think, is one of the most interesting ones. In total we have 16 of each Panzerfaust types and 8 boxes to accommodate those, which can be spread into two sets, boxes only and weapons only. As usual, on the back of the smaller mini art boxes, the painting guide can be found. On the bottom, list with the paints from different manufacturers is available. That includes the Mia, Revell, Ammo by Mick and Vallejo, so anything you might have available nearby will work. Appearance of the different Panzerfaust is very close one to another, mostly the trigger being larger on the Panzerfaust 60 version. In colors they do differ, so there are room for some artistic variations. There are some decaling on those, despite the fact that they are relatively small in size. Same goes for the crates, which can be done in different styles and weathered accordingly. Green, plain wood and winter washed are opted here, but as we all know, during the World War II, most of your imagination could work. They too feature some decals and can be built and weathered according to that. I believe that the crates themselves are the better part of this set due to the versatility that they offer. Opening the box we can find that there is plenty of space inside. There are the instructions and the plastic bag with all the sprues and photo etch. Instructions is a black and white sheet, relatively simple, describing the contents first, followed by few steps of assembly. Panzerfaust 30 and 60 are on the left and right respectively, 16 to be made of each. The built here is photo etch parts to be added to the plastic. That will require some bending and some super glue, but other than that it is a straightforward process. It is followed by the crate's assembly and positioning of the weapons inside. Some brackets from photo etch are to be added and other than that everything is plastic on plastic here. As mentioned, those can be separated, making the closed crates a set of their own, with plenty of the Panzerfaust left for adding to your built kits. Simple and very effective. There are 8 plastic sprues, all of them repetitive, as the one you can see here. It seems boring, but it's not, and the reason why it's not is the quality of the moldings, especially the wooden parts. Panzerfausts by themselves are delicate and detailed, but the real beauty of this kit is in the wooden texture of the crates. They are detailed inside and out, and it might be a good idea to make at least a couple of them open with the weapons inside. It would be a vivid picture, and there is no doubt about that. As always, many art wooden parts are fantastic, with superb texture and endless weathering possibilities. They can be done with few weathered paint coats or bare wood, but whatever you decide, it would be with stunning results in the end if you put some extra time in detailing this wonderful plastic moldings. The photo etch sheet comes enclosed in a thick envelope meant to protect the contents and bearing the mini art logo. 
mini art photo which is one of the thinnest and most delicate that I've seen and this care here wasn't a waste of material. On the sheet there are six different types of parts, all of them repetitive. As you already saw in the instructions they are mostly for the Panzer Fausts. Very few are for the crates. Here I would suggest extra caution and care and most importantly a good bending tool and trustworthy tweezers. That way you will spare yourself carpet monster troubles and a lot of nerves. Parts are small and delicate, be aware of that. For those that enjoy working with Photo Edge this will be an interesting journey. For those who aren't fans I would suggest to keep the crates closed. Lastly the decals. Those are most likely produced by Begamot. They feature yellow with red warning signs, white and black signs and of course red warning signs too. All of those are relatively small and they go over both the Panzerfaust variants and the crates. With that size I doubt that they will cause any trouble. However, some people keep saying that mini art decals can cause some issues. If you ask me, it all comes down to the strength of the decal solution. Some melt even Tamiya's thickest decals, so I doubt that there will be any problem with mini art here. So even with the modest amount of plastic and photo edge, this is one really great kit. It was always like that, the size and the part number isn't the most important thing in a kit. But the way that company approaches it and the way that it is engineered. I believe that this is one of the best mini art accessory sets featuring interesting item and that combined with the fact that the crates can be done separately makes it really clever purchase for any Wehrmacht fan out there. As always, great work from MiniArt. Cost effective too. Thank you for watching. Check out my other MiniArt reviews and don't forget to subscribe, comment and like those videos. I will see you in the next one.